A very warm welcome to you. Many thanks for finding time to join us on this week's edition of the program. As you know, we are your source for all the latest happenings in the world of business. My name is Margaret Mary Ustubor. You're welcome. On the line of this week, a lot has happened since the National Insurance Commission announced a new recapitalization structure for insurance companies operating in the Nigerian market. While some believe it's the right direction for the insurance industry, some others believe it's not. So first, we join Faith and her guests on the town hall as they look at the facts and the issues about the proposed TVMSC. As always, it's no holds barred to take a listen. What does that tweet thing mean? I say I want to marry you. And you know that if I marry you, I don't have the capacity to, to, to take, take care of Why will you go with me? Okay. So don't, okay. On this edition also, we will bring you highlights of the Nigerian Britain Association 2018 Annual Presidential Cocktail that took place recently at the British Deputy High Commission in Ikoi. The MBA, according to its president, Mr. Shalatinibu, has continued to impact the society through its various events and programs. You take a listen. The MBA has continued to impact the society through our various programs and events, such as the Akitola Williams National Youth Debate. Plus, the regular extras we bring you each week on this program, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the lineup. Details in just a moment. Please stay with us. The 2018 Almond Insurance Consumers Forum is finally here. The biggest and largest platform for insurance consumers to vent about customer service. We are impatient. That is our culture. We don't have time for too much trashing. <laughs> Tell us what we want to do, and we'll do it. <laughs> so, speaking English, you will make it easier. But the insurance has to do a lot more aggressive marketing. If you get into my troop or go to select, you see banks. All their workers are there. They are collecting the bank savings, even as a susu. So that it will be easier. It agrees with what my brother was saying. They are bringing it closer to me. Team relieving customers' pain points in insurance through exceptional service delivery. Date Friday, November 16th, 2018, from 9 30 a.m. Venue Kano Hall, Necker House, Hakim Balogun Street, Central Business District, Alausa, Ikeja. Chairman Dr. Justice Clinton Uranta, former GMD Niger Insurance PLC. Guest speaker Chief Chris Wadiegu Obi, MD Blue Pearl Consult Limited. Discussant Mr. Tule Oshadia, MD Guinea Insurance PLC. For inquiries, please call 080 333 57879 or visit com. Admission is free. Almond Insurance Consumers Forum, where the insuring public have their say. A very warm welcome to you. It's a pleasure to have you join us on set. As you know, this is where you get uh, all the heated arguments, discussion, the facts, the issues about topical issues in the Nigerian insurance industry. Today we'll be looking at um, the tier-based minimum solvency capital implementation. The date has become uh, one of the most talked about issues in the Nigerian insurance industry at the moment. In our usual manner, we've gathered an array of stakeholders, tested personality that can do justice to these very bony issues in the insurance industry at the moment. In no particular order, I'd like to invite to join me on set Mrs. Oyiko Olasanoye, uh, who is the national president of the Association of Senior Staff of Banks, Insurance and Financial Institutions, as BFI. It's indeed an honor to have her join us on the set today. Thank you so very much, ma'am, for joining us. Okay, I'd also like to invite to join me on set Mr. Boyega Olabi Oninu, who is the chairman insurance group of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, LCCI, today. LCCI is the oldest chamber of commerce and industry in Nigeria, standing at a whopping 130 years old. He's older than all of us that you <laughs> <laughs> say. Thank you, Mr. Olabi for, for joining us. Uh, last but not least is a f actually a friend of the house, Mr. Idowu Wahid Williams, who is the managing director of Dollar Myth Nigeria Limited, a management consultant firm that is based here in Lagos. He has um, 
numerous life uh, that he has spent in the insurance industry at senior executive management level. Thank you so very much, sir, for joining us. Uh, once again, lady and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on, on the set. So in the history of the Nigerian insurance industry, recapitalization has always been a heated topic. But before now, what we've had in the history is one cap fits all. But today, the regulators are telling us that this tier-based recapitalization, minimal solvency recapitalization, is not a one cap fits all. Isn't that a good thing? Let me, let me start with let me start with you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, and you've also given us a little bit of background of what um, recapitalization is in time past. If I would just lend a voice further to that. Um, basically, the first time we had this in the industry was in 2007, wherein we also saw the results because sometimes the, uh, the implementation of an event and the success determine whether uh, you can say uh, it, it, met, it met the, the objectives that you are looking at. Before 2007, um, I, I think in 2006, we had uh, a gross income in the industry of about 84.4 billion naira. And when the recapitalization exercise took place in 07 and 08, we had the highest growth in the industry thus far. 42% and 40% in 2007 and 2008. And of course, it was successful. And also at that same time, I, I, I recall very well that we had um, over 103 insurance companies in Nigeria, and it went down to 58. And what you've seen is that, you know, over the years, successive years, that growth has been maintained. So the facts should be said that recapitalization is not something that is bad. Now to now come to where we have that date, what the regulator refers to as tier-based minimum solvency capital. Again, like you did mention, you said, well, at that time it was one cap fits all, but now it's whether one cap actually fits all. And I'm sure what you are trying to say is that is a tier-based minimum solvency capital, meaning that yeah, the regulator had said that if you want to remain on the top tier, which is the minimum, you know, what you require to do is just stay where you are, meaning that for uh, general businesses, uh, 3 billion for life, 2 billion, and for composite, 5 billion. And if you want to move to the first tier where you can play in aviation and special rigs and oil and gas, then you need to go by 200%. And I think that is where the issue is because people are saying it's not a level playing ground for them. But for him, I think basically, um, I'm not trying to speak what they intend to do about basically the okay and speaking of that let me just quickly put it out in the open that we actually extended invitation uh, to the national insurance commission uh, but that invitation that we extended to them to join us on this set in this conversation was turned down so go ahead. okay so basically the the mindset of the regulator is to be able to bring nigeria to where she should belong in terms of the uh, uh, insurance industry for example we are talking about having a population size of 200 million people um, with uh, insurance penetration of less than 1%. That's, that's crazy, as it were. And looking at the South Africa with about 56 million people with a penetration rate of 17%. So the mindset really is to be able to bring Nigeria to where she should belong as far as uh, insurance is concerned in the globe. But 
you said a lot, is it one car fit all or one car fit two? And um, the silent voices from uh, key stakeholders is that, well, it is a good thing, it's palpable, it's also doable, it's possible, however, timeline. Okay, we are going to come to the timeline. Let me uh, speak to uh, Madam President. Um, do you also share the view that this is the best thing that can happen to the insurance industry? Uh, thank you so much. Yes, we quite agree that uh, for the insurance industry, they need recapitalization. And that uh, we also agree that recapitalization will boost insurance acceptability in the country. But I also agree, and I want to put it to the last discussion, that uh, non acceptability of insurance as at present is not because we don't have a tire basis structure. It is because that the, the involvement of insurance company in convincing Nigerians to pick the policy, it is still not up to where we expect it to be. The, the education, the awareness. motivation, the awareness is something we still need to work more on. We quite agree that uh, increasing the, the capacity of the insurance company is good, but we need to be conscious that we are now moving from shareholders' fund to solvency level. And if we are moving from shareholders' fund to solvency level, and we are claiming that it is an equal playing ground, then, like the commissioner said, that if you want to remain here, you can remain. But what will happen to those that didn't want to remain at the same level? Have they been given enough opportunity to move to where they desire to be? You see, there is a policy in place. And when we want to change policy, the first discussion discussed about 2007 when we did this last. But what was the duration of time given to them to search for fund? Now, all they have is 33 days, 33 working days. In present day Nigeria, if you see the report of SEC as at last week, investors are moving money away from Nigeria. Election is coming. So if you want to give somebody equal playing ground, is it at a time that they will be at disadvantage? Because for them to be able to play at equal playing ground, the first thing they need to do is that there must be a corporate decision on what we want to do. Is it, are we going to Magda? Are we going to acquisition? Do we want to do private placement? Do we want to go to the open market? Or do we want to invite investors from outside? All this we need due diligence. Then what period are they giving to? For us as employees of the sector, we agree with the commission in totality that we need to improve and raise the capital base of insurance company. But all we are saying is that give them time to be able to do a thorough job. We don't want a situation that when they could not raise this capital, this investment, foreigners that already have this money, we come and be picking our company at a ridiculous prices. We we'll end up selling all our national assets to people that will just come here, make the necessary profit because they have the money, and there will still be capital flight. So for us, exactly. We, anyway, we are going to come to a whole lot of other okay issues. Okay. But our point, our appeal, our desire, our advice, our suggestion is that give them time. No reasonable institution will be able to raise that necessary fund within 33 days. It's not possible. Okay, I'm going to come back to you, Mr. William. Maybe you just jump in from where, okay. where Madam stopped. If you really look at it, I, the approach that the NICOM is bringing into this uh, issue of recapitalization is never going beyond, uh, you know, getting the only existing insurance company to recapitalize their, cap, uh, their capital base. So they are still, still opening window for a fresh investors who can file up an application with NICOM for a fresh lenses to underwrite insurance business in Nigeria. So, and for me, I think one of the things the NICOM is looking at is that you want to see if a window can be open for the foreign investors who perhaps want to come into the country to uh, carry out insurance business, to come in, apply to regulatory body, obtain the line says to enable them to function legally. So, but for me, I think uh, we might really need to look at a whole lot of issues. Because if 
the existing insurance company is to upscale their capital base. They needed to suffer fund. And the timing for stopping for this fund, because we're looking at either they want to call on the existing shareholder by way of right issue, or approach the capital market and issue the, you know, IPO, or approach a, a foreign investor, you know, I mean, going offshore and looking so for investors who are willing to bring in their money into the country. But with all of this, like Madame Avelia said, it will require a due diligence process. And for me, I think the time of the deadline of this recapitalization is just too short for the industry to be able to inject necessary funds. Because we are looking at, for a company that have been a composite company, who were required uh, five billion to uh, you know, carry out their business before now, will have to be looking for an amount of capital in excess of 300% of what they currently have for them to be able to operate either as a tier tier as it has always been. So for me, I think the regulatory body needs to pay enough attention to. Almond Production presents the biggest and baddest insurance party ever in Nigeria. Insurance Industry and Consumers Night 2018. Comedy and Music Shutdown. Comedy by AY, Akbaroro, Sheila, Still Ringing, Kelvin Sapp, MC Shakara, MC Ayenana, and lots more. Music by Slim Case. And on the wheels of steel is the life of the party. DJ Ken Talkie. Your host, Ashbebe and Mama Insurance, aka Faith of Life. Date is Friday, 16th November 2018. Venue Shell Hall Muson Center. Time. Recap at 5 p.m. Gate fee 5,000 naira regular, 10,000 naira VIP, and 300,000 for corporate table of eight. Tickets are available at 26 Cafe Street, Ecoin, Lagos. For sponsorship details, table and tickets bookings, please call 0803-335-7879. This event is supported by... Insurance Industry and Consumer Nights, November 16, 2018. It will be a comprehensive party package. Don't miss it. Packaged by Pride Rock Entertainment. Welcome back. Thanks for still staying with us. Moving on now, we'll bring you highlights of the Nigerian Britain Association 2018 Annual Presidential Cocktails. The annual events usually prelude the Independence Anniversary Celebration. Enjoy it. The Nigeria Britain Association NBA was formed in Nigeria in 1969 as a corresponding association now known as the British Nigeria Education Trust, which is based in the UK and has His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, as its patron. The NBA is a non profit organization dedicated to developing relationships between individuals and organizations in Nigeria, Britain, and the Commonwealth resident in Nigeria. In line with objectives, the association recently put together its 2018 annual presidential cocktails to commemorate Nigeria's 58th independence anniversary celebration at the residence of the British Deputy High Commission. Welcoming guests to the event, the president of the NBA, Mr. Shola Tinubu, said that NBA is focused on empowering the youth as the force of the future. The NBA in the future which was launched as a youth empowerment platform in 2016, is in recognition of the role of the vibrant energy of the youth in shaping the future of the world, and as a tool for youth engagement and reinvention of the MBA. In furtherance, the MBA organized a fashion design competition for upcoming young designers within the ages of 18 and 30, with the theme expression. 
Ms. Bukola Adeogu, emerged the winner of the competition, which lasted for a month, and final rounds were held on Saturday, the 8th of September, with five finalists in attendance from Oyo, Kwara, Bayelsa, Oshun, and Lagos states, respectively. The winner gets nine months of advanced fashion design training at GMYT Fashion Academy, an industrial machine, mentorship with a fashion icon, Adiola Sego, and also gets to showcase her designs for the first time to members and guests shortly. In her brief remarks, Mrs. Laurie Bufields, British Deputy High Commissioner to Nigeria, said that there is so much Britain and Nigeria can learn from each other. Where there's so much more that we can do together, and this is why the NBA is incredibly important for me, because in the area of fashion, for example, Nigeria has got such talent, such color, such uh, ideas that would export so incredibly well to the UK. And I know a lot of my friends in London tonight would be incredibly jealous seeing me wear this and wanting to uh, have the same opportunity. So for me, this is very much what the NBA is about. Identifying those opportunities, those people to people links, celebrating them, investing in them, and seeing that in that, there are opportunities, but there's also friendship, shared values, uh, look, so much we have in common and so much we can learn from each other. So clearly there's a lot we can learn in terms of Nigerian fashion and hopefully Nigerian fashion designers can also learn from the UK. The MBA, under the leadership of its current president, is looking at ways to empower the youths through various programs. One of such was the 2018 Young Fashion Designers Competition aptly tagged expression. Over 30 young, talented, up-and-coming fashion designers participated and Ms. Bukola Adogu emerged as a winner. none other than Bukola Adeogun with this prize of the winner of the NBA Fashion Design Competition 2018. Although the association has a national outlook, its activities have been primarily focused on Lagos. As part of its development strategy, they are looking to expand to all the 36 states in Nigeria and beyond. To this end, the MBA intends to open bases in Abuja and London with possible chapters in other cities like Port Harcourt, Kano, Manchester and Birmingham. The membership of the Nigeria Britain Association is open to both corporate and individuals. Slowly but surely, we've come to the end of the program this week. I do hope you enjoyed every bit of it. Do join us again next week for a fresh package. In the meantime, I hope you've made plans to attend our two headline events happening on the 16th of November. The first is the Almond Insurance Consumers Forum happening at Neka House Alausa Ikeja by 9.30am. Like we've been saying, admission is free. So don't stay at home to complain about insurance companies not treating their customers well. Come and tell them to their face the areas you want them to change so they can serve you better. Then come evening of the same November 16 will be the biggest insurance party ever, the Insurance Industry and Consumers Night. Now comedians like A.Y. Akburo Roshi, Law, Oshbebe, Still Ringin, MC Shakara and a host of others will be in attendance. Music will be by Slim Case aka Sensei Miganja and DJ Kantalki, the party shutdown king will also be in attendance. Now tickets, regular tickets 5,000 Naira. 10,000 Naira for VIP tickets and for a corporate table of 8 we have 300,000 Naira. 
So to get your tickets, call or connect with us on all our social media platforms. Once again, my name is Margaret Mary Osiwar. Thanks for watching. Until next week from the entire crew, it's goodbye.